Hi guys, how's it going? Ivano here with a quick guide to the innovative Ordnance Mercenary for PvP patch 7.3.1. IO is a ranged damage over time class with buff average survivability. While it struggles to keep up with the top DPS specs in the game, it is quite engaging to play and has better AoE potential than its cousin Arsenal. IO offers a lot of elemental damage, which makes it an excellent tank killer, but it is held back by Serrated Shot being the only casted white damage dot in the game. The Energized Charges Tactical, which this build is named after, turns your supercharged burn into the most powerful dot in the game. The best legendary implant is Concentrated Fire, which grants you an auto crit on mech shot. For your second legendary, you want to run overcharged cells which makes it so Thermal Detonator gives you three stacks of supercharge, meaning you have your super strong dot available more often. For stats, you want to run 5% or 1100 accuracy, that means one enhancement, the yellow stim, and two augments. The optimal amount of alacrity is around 2200, adds three alacrity enhancements on top of your overcharged cells implant. Once you have that, simply put the rest of your stats into crit, so that would be three enhancements, the earpiece, and the remaining 12 augments. For this IO build, you want to pick up eruptive flames at level 23 for some additional AoE potential. Volatile cinders is better if you want to focus more on single target DPS though. At level 27, Power Barrier is your best option, in my opinion. It gives you some additional damage reduction. However, if you play IO in Arena versus a lot of Stealthers, then the Hunter Killer Droid can be a good option. Heavy Shrapnel at level 39 makes your Thermal Detonator do AoE damage, so we take that. On level 43, I like Chef Flare because it gives you an additional defensive cooldown, which is of course very important in PvP. At level 51, Energy Rebounder makes it so you have your Energy Shield available more often. Often. In patch 7.3.1, mercenaries now have the Thrill of the Hunt utility baseline. That means you can always cast Unload while moving, and you can now pick up Colto Surge at level 64 to super buff your Colto Overload. At level 68, you can choose between Responsive Safeguards, aka Reflect, or Rocket Out for more mobility. So pick whatever you prefer here. Finally, at level 73, you are going to pick up Trauma Regulators, which gives you a huge heal after after your energy shield expires. Remember that you can also click off the energy shield buff to trigger the seal prematurely if you expect to die through shield. The IO combo that I use takes advantage of different procs, which makes it so you will not have to cast any of these abilities and can remain fully mobile. Start by popping supercharge and applying incendiary missile to your target. Afterwards, you want to use max shot, which is going to be an auto crit because we popped supercharge with our concentrated fire implant. This will also put the supercharged burn dot on the target. Next, you use unload to proc another max shot, but we're not using the proc right away we are saving mech shot and use serrated shot instead. Now serrated shot is going to be an instant because we used mech shot before. But note that this can only happen once every 15 seconds, so it won't always be the case. After our dots are on the target, we continue with thermal detonator and finish off the combo with our saved mech shot, which is going to blow up the thermal detonator in an AOE around the primary target. After this, you have multiple options. If there is any AOE to be had, you can can use fusion missile now to spread your dots to additional targets. I recommend to cast power surge or electronet before fusion missile to make it easier to hit. If there is no AoE to be had, you want to focus on proccing your mech shot as often as possible, so use power shot or unload for that. And if energy is an issue, simply use rapid shots, which will also give you one stack of supercharge. Easy classes to face as the IO mercenary include tanks. They take a lot of damage from your dots and are also excellent targets to spread your dots off because they usually stay in the middle of the zerg. Marksman snipers are also relatively easy to face, while you will have trouble hitting your mech shot on them because of their extra range defense when in cover. As long as you stay close to a pillar or a similar line of sight object, they can never really kill you 1v1. Hard classes to face include Pyro PTs because they have quite a lot of dot damage reduction and you cannot really kite them as easily with your net as they can just pull you and control you with Carbonize. Lethality operatives are also some of the harder opponents to face, again because of their dot damage reduction and the fact 
that they can also frequently cleanse off your dots with evasion. Although your net does keep them from vanishing, so a well-timed burst with your teammates can still take them out if they don't have CC breaker. Great classes to pair with IO are again Pyro PTs who provide a tanky frontline and can keep enemy melee at bay. The Pyro PT also profits off your 7% elemental damage debuff which your incendiary missile provides. And then another group of classes to pair with IO that's really great are healers. And that's because you are a damage over time class. So the longer you can stay in the fight, the better your chances of success. And a healer, of course, helps with that. If you have any questions about IO, join my Discord where there are lots of helpful PVPers that can answer them. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.